Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In order to perform almost any task on a layer, you must first be able to select it. You can select a layer by clicking on the layer that you'd like to select over in the Layers panel. Then, any changes that you make will affect only the selected layer, protecting the content of the other layers. However, this can also be a source of aggravation for new Photoshop users. If you're trying to make a change to an image, and you find that the changes that you're trying to make aren't being applied, check to make sure that you have the correct layer selected. This is easy to forget when you're first starting out using layers, so be sure to double check your layer selection before making a change in a layered image file. You can also hide or show layers in a layered image file. To change the visibility of a layer, click the eye icon at the left end of the layer or layer group or set to toggle the selected layer or group's visibility on or off. A neat twist on this is used when you want to view only a single selected layer or layer group. You can hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then click the eye icon of the layer or group that you want to view. All of the other layers will have their visibility turned off. Now this can be nice when you want to concentrate on working on a specific image element in a layer without the distraction of content on the other layers. You can also simply hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then click the eye icon again to make the hidden layers visible once again. You can also quickly duplicate a layer or group to create another copy of the content in the image or in another image file. Be aware that if you duplicate the layer in an image file with a different pixel resolution, that the layer's content may appear a different size than you intended. If you want to create a duplicate layer, just click and drag the layer or group in the Layers panel and drop it on top of the New Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel down here. Now another way to perform that same function is just to select that layer. Let's say we want to duplicate inside the text group this layer here, and then go to Layer, and then Duplicate Layer from the menu bar. And in this case, you'll be presented with the Duplicate Layer dialog box where you can type a name for the duplicate into the As Text box. We'll just call this Test for right now. And then you use the Document dropdown to select into which open image file you want to copy the duplicate into. In this case, we want to copy it right into the same one, and this is the only image we have open. When you're ready, you just click OK, and you'll see we have our new layer created over in our layers panel. You can also change the order of layers in an image. When you're using layers, newly created layers stack on top of the older layers. When a layer is stacked on another, the content of the layer on top supersedes the content of the layer below. You can change the order of the layers in a stack very easily by simply clicking and dragging the layers up or down in the layers panel. The bottommost layers are shown at the bottom of the Layers panel, increasing in order through the stack up to the topmost layer. So you can just click and drag to change the order. You may also link layers to allow you to move their content together. Also when you perform activities like copying and pasting the layers, the linked layers will be treated as if they were the same. So if you copy a linked layer, you'll also copy the layer to which it's linked as well. To link a layer, you select the layers or the groups in the Layers panel, and then click the Link Layers button in the lower left-hand corner of the panel, or in the column immediately to the left of any layers that you want to link in the selected layer if you're using version CS2 and earlier. And then a chain link icon will appear in the column to let you know that you've linked the layers. You can also click the Link Layers icon to unlink layers that were previously linked. Now you'll see that chain link appear here in these. Let's open a different group. For example, we have our votives and we also have our different backgrounds. In the different backgrounds here, let's say we wanted to link these two layers. We can select them both. I'll hold down my shift key and then click the link layers and you'll see the chain link appear right here. And again, you can click it again to unlink those layers. 
So a good example in this particular image of where this is used is with the text. We have two different layers. We have the title and then the small text below that and they're linked so that if you move them or copy them you can do so once and they'll move together or copy together. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.